Welcome to Jethro's Garage. Hope y'all are having a great weekend so far. Uh, man, the weather looks nice. It's Friday right now, but this will come out on Saturday night for you. Um, trying to get a few things done up. Today we're here to talk about SK tools. So these tools, um, well, they're not your dad's SK. And we'll get into that in a little bit, but y'all hang on and come on back after the intro. Y'all back? Cool. So, SK Tools. This right here, this particular product is SK 3 8 inch drive socket set, 30 piece SAA, SAE. The ratchet is 160 positions, so I'm thinking that means it's like a 90 tooth, but with a double paw type action. And I'm gonna look at this while we're going through it and see if maybe we can check that out. And it claims a 2.25 degree arc swing. So these are made in China and they're owned by Great Star uh, Industries or something like that. It's a, a, a tool group. They bought a bunch of different uh, tool brands. Um, it's made in China. So right now you can buy this for $99.99 and also get a 15% off coupon on that right now on Amazon. I'll give you a link down below. And these tools have a limited lifetime warranty. That limited lifetime warranty pretty much co covers manufactured defects. Um, it doesn't cover abuse. I haven't tried to warranty any of these. Uh, these are actually my sons, uh, but anyway, let's get into talking about these and I'll bring y'all up here and we'll have a closer look at them. Come on. So here we go. The first thing we're going to talk about is this ratchet. Um, I can tell you right away, the handle is just a little small for me, but it's okay. It's not uncomfortable. It's just, you know. It, it doesn't, it's just a little small, I don't know. And it's a little slick, but you know, still, it's not a bad product. I think I could get used to using it. Um, one thing I noticed about using it here a minute ago is the this slot here, it's not locking into place. I gotta hold the other end to lock it into place to change directions. That's, uh, I've seen that with some older ratchets and some cheaper ratchets, so I'm holding the back, but let's see. See? See? I can't even, there we go. Now, listen to those teeth. It don't sound too bad. I got a little wind going on out there, so I'm hoping you can hear this better. Yeah, they don't sound too bad, but it's easy to skip teeth there. Um, the uh, back drag isn't horrible. Hold on, let me. Well, shoot, let me turn it the other way. Well, yeah, I'm trying to show you the back drag. It's not horrible. It's not the best. It's not a, it's not a, uh, what is it? Uh, one of them coking. It's not a coking. It's not a snap on. A little thing, a few things about the kit. The kit comes pretty much with a standard selection. Uh, maybe even a little fuller than most. Um, it's got a, three inch and a six inch extension bar. It's got a universal joint, normal universal joint. There's nothing special about this. It's not, you know, fancy. Uh, the, what I like about this kit the most is it's fairly full. I mean, it goes from a quarter inch all the way to one inch. Pretty sure there's no skips there. Let's see, half, nine sixteenths, five eighths, 11 sixteenths, three quarter, 13 sixteenths. 
seven eighths, fifteen sixteenths, one inch. It's according to what you call no skips because, I mean, you know, I've seen kits where they go in between, you know, the they have thirty seconds up there, but they've got all of the everything from a quarter inch and then in sixteenth interval intervals, all the way up to one inch. A lot of kits don't go to one inch, and some of them don't even go to fifteen sixteenths. Same way with your deep well, go all the way to one inch. Now that's pretty nice. Let's have a look at some of these sockets. And oh, by the way, the chrome ain't too bad on these. Let me let me give me a rag and wipe these down. So I don't want I don't want you looking at them and think I'm telling you stories. Now they they don't look to be a very deep chrome. Uh, they're supposed to be super chrome sockets, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't call them super chrome. Here's what I mean. These haven't been used a whole lot. See all that? So that a lot of that is going to be imperfections behind and some of them on top of the chrome. So mainly these have set in the toolbox a little bit. My son hasn't really uh, used them a whole lot. Let's, let's look at the difference between that and some nice chrome on a socket. Okay, now this is old, this is old SK. It's not, I mean, they're in great shape. I bought these at a pawn shop. Don't know how much they've been used. Let's see if we can see a difference in this chrome. There's a little bit of difference there. I, I would, I can see it. But it's not, and remember, this one's, I've had it and used it for a little bit. But these are, it's SK. It's made in USA, SK. Um, I mean, for a new pair compared to an old pair, it's not, now I got all, got them all uh, smudged up. But you can kind of tell this one's a little bit better. But chrome don't get you home. Let's look at the broaching. It's not too bad in there. Looks clean. I don't see anything crazy in the broaching. Let's look and see if we can find something that it fits. I think I'm gonna go get a, well, I don't know what I'm gonna go get. Let me go find some. Okay, let's start with, let me see, what is this, half inch. Okay, can you see in there? It's not bad, it's a little bit, a little bit of wiggle. Um, it's a little more than I would like. Let's, let's try a more expensive half inch. This is the only one I'm gonna double compare. So here's a proto half inch. And it's about, hmm, it's about the same. Let's look up there. And yeah, it's about the same. Not bad fit. Um, let's look at something a little bigger. See, there's a nine sixteenths. Let's see. It's a, just a tad tighter. It's not bad. And last but not least, three quarter. Three quarter seems a little loose. Yeah, it's, that's, it's kind of loose there. It's not horrible. I've got, I'm gonna have to try out another three quarter though, just to see. Okay, so this is an impact three quarter. Let's see what it does. This is a Sun X, so not a whole lot more expensive. Probably not more expensive at all, but it does seem a little tighter.
I'm sorry I'm uh I wanted to get a better socket, but the socket drawer is just under that, and I've already had to open it up and move it around. Let's see, yeah, you it seems like there's a little bit more play. Yep. So Yeah, definitely, definitely more play with the the Chrome. So, I mean, with the uh, SK. All in all, though, it's not, it's not a deal breaker. I haven't done any comparison prices, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure these would be out of the question. Let me, let's look at this one inch deep well. not bad on the broaching the chrome inside isn't polished but that's okay there's a crack there's a, a line down in here i can't say that's a crack Ooh. look at that see where i scratched that with my finger so i'm wondering if that's some kind of coating they've got in there It's not on the sides. It's just down in the bottom. Hmm. Something to think about. It's not bad. Let's see how... It, let's look at this ratchet a little more. It's very little play. Side to side, up and down. Um, let's put the calipers on these and measure this thing up a little bit. Zero, zero U. Let's see, this thing is 14.5 millimeters thick and 35, 0.5 millimeters wide. Hmm, it's not too bad. Let me back y'all up. So I want to open this up, but this is my son's. Um, I will do it off camera and I'll check it out and then we'll, uh, maybe I'll, I'll do another video later opening this up and comparing it to like a, uh, something else that I've got. Um, would I buy this? Well, that's a hard decision. If you're looking for something, if you're looking for something cheap, I think this is a good, uh, a, a pretty decent option. There's cheaper stuff out there and I've had to do some uh, shopping, but all in all, it's a pretty decent set, and it's fairly full. It's a fairly full set. It would certainly be in consideration if I was looking for something. And I really like the foam. Now, the foam would take up a ton of room, but if you've got a fair amount of room, you could use this. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, and it's neat, especially, especially you're in an industry where you have got to keep 100% track of your tools, especially when you're uh, airport stuff like that and have to worry about FOD. Um, this would be a, a great, a, you know, awesome deal, a time saver. You wouldn't have to worry about doing, you know, your foam and all that. So this could help and that could, that could be some added value to some people. Um, the uh, fa false uh, carbon fiber look is kind of neat, but and everything is nice and labeled, and it's even got the model number here, SK03010. Pretty nice little set. Um, again, would I buy it? If I was in the market for something to throw it in my truck or car or whatever, I might would do it. I might would buy this in a case, um, but I think, I think that's it. For professional full-time use, Probably not, 
probably not. I'd probably spend a little more money. Um, for uh, Weekend Warriors, it's it's Weekend Warrior. Uh, okay. I'd have to get more into this to see why it's so hard to turn or to, to switch positions. It's more of annoyance than it is a issue, but I'd still have to look into that. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Um, make sure y'all go back and check out my giveaway video that I did. And uh, I'll put a link to it down in the description. And y'all go check it out, see how to get entered. Um, other than that, thank y'all for watching. And make sure you tune in to uh, Jethro's Garage Live on Sunday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We give away a tool every Sunday night to everyone that is still in the chat when it's time to give away, give away the tool. We go a little long sometimes, and I try to cut it out at about 45 minutes to an hour, but, you know, we go with the flow and see how it goes. Thank y'all. Um, please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends and family and whoever else. Um, y'all have a blessed day, and y'all take care of each other.